creek here. And as you can see, you know, right up here, you can see those big roots that come off of that thing. And, and you can see how the current comes. And it comes around this bend, and it, and it breaks right there. So that is like a perfect ambush spot for a bass to be sitting. You know, uh, bait hook placement is, is such a key when you get into an area like this. Uh, you know, being able to pitch that bait up underneath these cypress trees and underneath all this Spanish moss and stuff, and right at the base of these trees is, is really critical. And, and, you know, the, the best way to do that is uh, just a good, uh, you know, underhand pitch. You know, just pitch it up there. You, you, you get the bait in there nice and quietly and just kind of, you know, surprise those fish. Just kind of, you know, drop it right in front of their face. And this is where practicing your... Your, your pitching really, you know, comes into play because, you know, you can't just come in here and not have some experience, you know, pitching around because uh, if, if you don't have that experience, this is definitely not the place to learn or you're going to be uh, up here in the Spanish moss and then the cypress trees more than you're in the water. So, you know, <laughs> His that, eyes. Really coming uh, for pitching it, you know, pitching into those type places <laughs> definitely help you uh, put some more fish in the boat. You know, the rig I'm using here... <laughs> sinker, but it's a, it, what it actually is, a, a little uh, eagle claw laser bobber <laughs> stop, and, and once you get them on your line, they never go away, so I'm going to slide this up, put my little uh, eagle claw laser tungsten sinker here, a little 16 ounce sinker, slide that up there, so you know, I've got a typical slip sinker, I'm going to take my uh, six off, homie, uh, 